Oh, sorry, I forgot. Hey, sorry. Hey. I'm sorry. Hey. I'm sorry. Oh, sorry, I forgot. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that would happen eventually. It was just a matter of time. You, you just you just keep on going. <laughs> Go ahead. Hmm. Well, all right. Move that guy to the prep room. Oh. <laughs> he pointed at the upper body anatomy model he frequently used during class. His name was, I think, Christopher. <laughs> Whenever I ran errands, he often told me all kinds of stories. One of them was about Christopher. Christopher is apparently Beatrice's half brother. Mr. Eugene was <laughs> get it half, half because uh, <laughs> he's cut in half. <laughs> uh, jokes. Mr. Eugene is honestly annoyed with him, but he takes care of him because Beatrice adores him. Such a tear jerking story. <sighs> I don't think I can carry this alone. Although the model was just the upper body, it was too heavy for a girl to carry alone. <laughs> I once complained a little to him to have the boys carry such heavy things around. Wait, I picked the model yeah, up quite. I think you skipped. In quite. Yeah, a, that's where. That's where I was at. In quite an unattractive pose. Yeah. Okay. He didn't give me a single glance, despite me struggling to pick it up. Uh, well, Mr. Eugene, uh, I'll be heading out. Your voice just completely changed. It's okay. Fine. Oh, Beatrice, how can you have such beautiful shoulder Wingardium blades? Wingardium Leviosa! How can you seduce me like this? I already adore every single particle of you. That voice is perfect, and I thank you for <laughs> choosing it and just jumping on the bandwagon right away. <laughs> I should close the door when I head out. Yeah, that's a good idea. Some kids who were passing by heard his voice through the open door and started whispering. Some argued that it didn't matter because his, he looks cute. If I'm not to ruin my life with just one choice, I would quit thinking that. Someone else said that he's too creepy and asked if he's not crazy. Hmm, I agree. Ugh, heavy. Christopher, I mean, this model was indeed too heavy for a girl to carry. The only reason why I can manage to carry it is because my... Trained arm muscles are used to carrying two kilogram dolls every day. Okay, your dolls are like literally as big as Barbie dolls, and I assume that skeleton is probably like half your size, at least. <laughs> uh, so many boys pass by, but no one even looks. No one notices me because I'm too ordinary anyway. Things would be different for Soy and Shinbi. So I would have shoved the boys around like a queen, and for Shinbi, girls would have volunteered to help. <laughs> I smirked and imagi at imagining all that. I don't really feel bitter, though. I agree to that. Th I agree too that their looks attract people. <clears throat> oh no! Recess will be over soon. I should hurry up. I don't. Her voice keeps changing. I don't know what's happening. It's okay. I I can't. Hold on. I'm trying to get it back. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I'm here, guys. I'm back. I'm tired. I threw myself into the sofa without even taking my uniform off as I bury myself in the comfy sofa. I felt as all my okay. sore muscles are screaming. Yeah. Okay. God, my shoulders. Oh. Tomorrow, I'm definitely not even going. I'm definitely not going. <laughs> even if Mr. Eugene asks for me, all I do is suffer. I turned around on the sofa. As usual, I blankly stared at the ceiling. There's so much to do, but I don't even want to move a finger. I have to take out the trash and wash my uniform, but I don't want to move at all. I overworked myself today. I ran in the morning so I wouldn't be late. I carried around a heavy model, and I even survived the halls, ha the oh, the hellish cafeteria <laughs> during lunch. I just want to rest and sleep like this. But the list of chores kept swimming in my head, so I couldn't stay still. Uh, <laughs> I just can't lie down I did like it again. this. <laughs> Let's finish cleaning quickly and then lie down. I gathered my sluggish strength and stood up. The house Grandpa left me was too big to live by myself. An educator and a book lover, Grandpa had many books. <clears throat> he moved to larger and larger houses to keep all those books and eventually started... Oh, eventually settled in this mansion. Should we start our fan theory yet? Uh, sure. Okay, so... You, just, yeah. you, you start. Okay, <coughs> so... Pause. We interrupt this story to bring you theory time. Yeah. yeah. So, if you're familiar at all with Dandelion, which was brought to you, you will know that one of the characters is named Jiwoo. And, since Jiwoo has a thing for reading and writing and such, and many other 
little things that we will point out in time, such as the dandelion painting that is framed in the main room wall, which is the same painting that Hee Jung, the main character, painted in that game. We have this little theory that the grandpa in this game is little grandpa Ji Woo, and that her grandmother was Hee Jung. And that's and, why she's such a freaking ditz. Yeah, and that is possibly also why the wizard is involved in all of this mess. Even though he because... looks different, I assume that it's the same wizard. Yeah. Okay. I mean, his 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 silhouette is the same, and there's feathers and everything. Yeah, the feather the feathers are kind of a give off, and it's the same music. Which, even though that could be just be laziness, I'm going to take it as a evidence for our fan theory. So, uh, unpause. Yeah. Okay. When Grandma was alive, they often fought over those books. Yeah, I can totally see that happening. Actually, even I never saw even I never saw all the books in the house, and. There were rooms I couldn't enter because of them. Thanks to them, cleaning was always difficult, but I have no intention of throwing them away. Even if Grandpa passed away, since his memories are in those books, they are precious to me as well. Shall we start with the living room? I took off my uniform... And... Okay. I'm... <laughs> Yep, she vacuums the house naked. Yeah! <laughs> I took off my uniform... <laughs> well, I mean, they, they do say that later. I know. Oh, was someone expected? Who is it? Um, Delivery. Okay. Delivery? <laughs> oh, I was expecting something. Thank you. I opened the door naked. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> as soon as I got the package, I headed to my room. Cleaning? What's that? Oh, boy. I've been waiting for this for a long time. Okay, okay. Boots. Boots and cats and boots and cats and boots and cats. In the box was a splendid handmade suit and a pair of black boots. They were no bigger than my hands, but were in, as intricate as those of humans. Okay, how big are those dolls again? Mm -mm. Well, I can always claim later. Doll fans have different priorities from normal people. If you buy something new, you naturally have to set everything else aside and try it on the dolls and take pictures. I mean, duh. I lay down the dolls from the shelf and try this and that on them. Pretty as expected. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Pretty as expected, the wait was worth it. <laughs> the room quickly turned into a mess while I was while I dressed the dolls into pretty clothes. I long forgot I had been cleaning just a while ago. And that I'm still naked. I drown in my own thoughts as I look around <laughs> the room full of doll props. Other people will find it strange that I play with dolls even though I'm not a child. If they see a grown up student still collecting dolls, they'll think she's juvenile. And if they find out the dolls are quite expensive, they'll think it's more bizarre. But I don't think I'm weird. I don't, I don't think so. I mean, <laughs> I could be, but so I, know. So I have no desire to be understood by others. Sometimes it gets a bit uncomfortable and lonely, but I don't have much problem with making excuses like now. But if there's one thing that bothers me, it's not being able to tell my friends. So I and she'd be would never guess this side of me. I thought of the friends who were always by my side and sad music played. <laughs> <laughs> I put the dolls on the shelf and plopped down on the bed. Hey guys, if I tell Soy and Sheen be the truth, what would they say? The dolls silently look at me. <sighs> well, I've gotten this far anyways, all I have to do is keep up like this. I stretch as far as I can on purpose to shake off all the worries. After stretching my muscles, I suddenly feel the fatigue float over me. I have to finish cleaning. Ugh, it's too loud. I unconsciously grope for the alarm clock by the bed. It's 5 a.m. It was long before the alarm rang. I must have fell asleep. I slowly got up from bed. <clears throat> uh. I must have really overworked my body yesterday. My shoulder still hurts. I felt stiff, stiffer, stiffer than usual for waking up early. Those footsteps, though. <laughs> I would, like, I wouldn't even be like, what is that? Let me go investigate. I would just panic and, like, yeah. sail out the window. I would be like, <laughs> nope. <laughs> There's a tree right outside, right? I mean, I see, I see busher, or shrubbery, so... <laughs> bushery. <laughs> I see bushery. <laughs> Wow, so I... noisy in the morning. <laughs> uh, 
Should I sleep more? Excuse me while I die. <laughs> <coughs> okay. Anyway, is there construction going on around the house? Why is it so Eight noisy cups. today? What? Wait, the sound is coming from in the kitchen. 